Okay, so hopefully it is clear. When we're toggling the component, when we're mounting an unmounting component, the use effect, even though it has empty dependency array, is going to run every time we show the component, basically every time we mount the component. Unlike in this example, the cleanup function, which is only going to be mounted once. Now, this is just a fact. When it becomes an issue, well, if we have some kind of functionality that essentially just keeps on running. Now, I picked two examples, the set interval and the event listeners. Keep in mind that, of course, there are other use cases. And essentially, the main point of these videos is just to showcase how we need to be careful when we are toggling the component. If we have some kind of functionality that might possibly lead to an issue, that's when we need to go back and set up the cleanup function. Please keep in mind, you won't need to set up cleanup function for every use effect, but yes, in some instances, it's a good practice. Now, when it comes to set interval, basically it comes from vanilla JS, just like the event listeners. And essentially we go here with set interval. We want to pass in the function we want to invoke and then essentially the interval. So in my case, I'm going to go with one second and I'm not going to be too dramatic. I'm just going to pass here the log. I'm going to say hello from interval. And what do you think right now is going to happen? So if I toggle the component I have is interesting. Okay. That's what I expected, but I also have this hello from interval. So that's the functionality. Now where it becomes really interesting is when we actually untoggle the component. Notice how this just keeps running, even though the component is not displayed. And again, this can lead to some serious issues. Let's imagine you're subscribing to some kind of service and essentially you still have this running in the background, even though the component is not displayed anymore. And what's even more interesting, the more times I'm going to click, the faster it's going to go because now I'll have more set intervals. Now, what is the solution? Well, it's a cleanup function and the syntax is a little bit funky. So just bear with me. We want to go here with return and we want to return a function and then whatever is within this function is going to be invoked and I'll showcase when it's actually invoked. And that's the reason why we don't want to set this one up as a sync like so, because react is expecting that if you're returning something, you're actually returning a function. Now, when it comes to set interval, it actually returns an ID. So in here I can go to const and then whatever the variable. And then in order to clear this interval, we want to go with special method. It's called clear interval. And we want to pass in that ID. Again, this is just for interval, but effectively, yes. When you have a cleanup function, what you want to do is essentially just to clean up whatever functionality you have over here. So if you're subscribing to some kind of service, you want to unsubscribe. Otherwise it's going to be running in the background. And now notice something interesting where basically I'll click, I'll have the hello from interval, but the moment I hide, that's it. The interval is not running anymore and I can click all the time, but you'll see that essentially it's not going to be running if the component is not displayed. Now, when this one runs and this one is a little bit tricky, where basically if I go here with log and if I say render and you know what, let's clean out these logs for now. Let me comment them out. You'll see that of course, when it runs well, initial render, right? So this one, we're not toggling only when we mount the component, basically when the application loads, that's when we essentially render this component, the cleanup function. Now, if we go here inside of the cleanup function, and if we type log and we'll say cleanup, you'll see that essentially it runs after this render and before the use effect. So that's how we can clean up after ourselves. So let's refresh one more time, initial render. Then once we click, what happens? Well, we re-render this component, right? Because we changed the state value and now check it out. Once I'll click again, I'll re-render and I'll clean it up. So notice 
I have another re-render because again, we flipped the value and then I have the cleanup. So essentially it runs after the render and before the use effect. So in our case, basically when the component unmounts, that's when we run it. Hopefully that is clear. Again, this is a function we want to return. We want to set up here some kind of functionality and we want to do that in order to clean up whatever we have in the use effect, just so it doesn't run in the background.